I don't really know if I am balancing at all. Like, Why don't we see how spring and summer goes? But yeah, now that the roof's on, you really get a feel for the size. I might it with wrinkles on it. Definitely feeling sore today. The numbing's wearing off. Working and watching the OC. Bowie, smoothie. And we're kind of getting to that exciting part. Look at his face, oh! It is a Monday morning, and today I actually have a bit of a mixed day. I'm going to do some house stuff for a house build. The Valcasa. if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, we're going to be sharing a lot more updates over there as well. Also going to film and share with you guys a house build series for YouTube, so that you guys can come along on the journey with us. And we're kind of getting to that exciting part. So I think now's a good time to start creating some yeah. episodes. Do you think so, Zimmy? Anyway, so this morning I have some housey things to do. I'm going up to the ABI, not showroom, I'm going up to their warehouse to collect our order because we're up to plumbing um, fit-offs. Fit-offs, is that right word? I don't know. Um, today, so I'm gonna go pick up our order. Then I am gonna go up to Yatla. I'm gonna go look at another showroom at some more bench tops, um, some other options. I wanna go do that, I'll bring you guys along and show that too. And then finally, I have a meeting on site with the builder to go over some electrical and plumbing um, locations, just to make sure we're all on the same page with where things are going, which will be exciting. So again, I'll bring you along for that. Zimmy, what are you doing? Stop trying to grab everything. Stop trying to grab everything. You are so crazy. But we had a sleepover with his Ninin last night, so the house is one decibel quieter this morning. I'm also going to stop into work at some point because today is my work day and do a little bit of work as well in between all this. So I'll bring you guys to work too. Um, and quickly, I just want to talk about a couple of housey things. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? You want to be up here looking at it all? <laughs> this is the color I want to do for the travertine um, bench tops, stone bench tops. It's a nice, light, creamy travertine. It's really, really beautiful. Then I have the feature tile that I want to do around the kids' bath and the laundry splashback, which I will make. It's also travertine. And I will make a checker pattern with it, which will look really nice. Let me try. Let's zoom. Hey, Zimmy, that's you, baby girl. Which will look really nice with the bench top and then the checker. They'll match really nicely. And the cabinetry. Anyway, that's as far as I've gotten in decision making like that great then there's like floor and wall tiles and for the floor of the kids bathroom I'm thinking of actually doing for the floor and the shower and the wall this it's the same tile as the checker but they make them in a big size like a 30 by 30 size so it'll be like checker pattern oh, please ignore this finger god it's annoying checker pattern and then floor. What do we think? <laughs> Is it working? Are we liking? And then I've got to decide on all of that for our bathroom. Laundry, well laundry, I've got the tiles. This is the tiles. And this is probably gonna be the bench top, again. Same as the kids bath. But then I need to decide on floor tiles. I don't know whether to go something a bit more cost effective um, and durable, but it has to look nice together. I also found on Pinterest last night, hold on, where's my phone? I also found these tiles on Pinterest last night and I was like, oh my God. So they're like a marble and they come in, this is the shape of them and it's the way they're laid to make that, I don't know, to make that pattern. And I was like, oh my God, could that be a real statement in our bathroom floor? And then having like the travertine so that would be like this again. Traventine um, vanity with the sinks made from this as well, like cut in, this on the floor. And then the wall of the shower and the walls of the bathroom being um, travertine as well. Then, guys, this is how my brain works. I'm indecisive. Yeah. Then I seen this on Pinterest and I thought, that's like the travertine sink 
could we do the same travertine, like our travertine sink and then the same travertine on the floor, like so it matches, and then do the walls not tiled like this, just do them like um, micro concrete or something. Then my next idea is, do we do the travertine sink and then the, the, tra the walls, the same travertine, like the panels, but do a micro concrete floor. So that's three decisions. Or, number four, do we do the travertine sink vanity? It's all, it'll also have um, some drawers below and we're gonna have a recessed mirror for storage. And then do we do like the shower floor walls and bathroom walls in the travertine as well. So it's like all travertine and then maybe one wall just being like painted. Or oh, these are the other tiles I was looking at last night. They're like porcelain Travertine. Porcelain is supposed to look like travertine. Obviously, I didn't see them in real life. But I was looking at those as well because they're really cost effective per square meter. And this is where my inspo for having just like the micro concrete floor and walls came from. Looks quite minimalistic. But then, like, full wall and floor tiling also looks really nice. I'm gonna store those thoughts up in my brain and get on with my day. We are picking up our order from ABI. Got the ute ready. This is their. Um, big warehouse it's massive what's this yeah it's the headquarters it's massive it's like a compound. yeah um they make so much stuff by the way we've got heaps of stuff from abi because they do so much more than just tapware it's really good and they're a local company what are you doing big dog just waiting this area is all very new and when i said carrara i thought it was going to be like in carrara like pack fair and I was like, what a mission, but we're like, I just didn't realize it was like right off the M1. This is great. Yeah, it's not far at all. There's like a massive bit of land over there that just sold as well. They're probably going to develop yeah, big. big like industrial area. Yeah, nice, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> So I have arrived at my next stop for the day. I'm up at Yatla visiting the Cosentino, I think that's how pronounced, Cosentino showroom. Um, they do porcelain slabs and they have like multiple different product ranges, but I'm specifically looking at the Decton range. Um, I want to see them in real life online. It looks really good and something I'm considering for our fresco area particularly. Um, so I'm going to go inside and have a look around and I'll see if I can film some bits while I'm in there. So I got some samples. I just did a little, showed, took some videos of the stones I was looking at. Got some samples um, and some pricing. This is the product I'm probably most interested in using on our fresco area so it looks like Taj Mahal um, and it does look really nice it's a glossy finish so that's what I'm interested in using for there and then I've got two other ones this is called um, Sabia and uh, Mar Mar Marmorio Mar Marmorio 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 Yeah, something like that. So they are porcelain slabs that look like travertine. Should I ask if they come in tiles? Obviously, it's like a print of like travertine on the slab. So when you get up close, like from far away, it looks like travertine. But when you get up close. You can see that it's just printed. They can, can tell it's not natural. Like they they can't man make a natural thing. Well, they can, but it's not going to be the same thing. But it's definitely like more durable than natural travertine. It's probably going to be better for cleaning with cleaning products. So I've just got to like weigh it all up and compare it. I did bring my tiles to do like a little comparison in the car, but now my car is so full of stuff I can't even get to those tiles. I really just really wanted samples to look at because that's super helpful for me to like do my mood boarding with. Okay, so 
I'm gonna head to work for an hour, quickly catch up with the team, and then I have a meeting on site this afternoon, which I'm excited about. So I don't remember when I was here last, but this is the current update where we're at. All our windows and doors have been delivered inside and most of the roof's on. I'll take you through the front door for the grand reveal. This is the only part without the roof so far because we're waiting on this skylight. Oh my god, it's going to be so nice. And then the bricks and stuff for the fire oven and we're waiting on those um, but yeah now that the roof's on you really get a feel for the size Alex is standing in the kitchen area and there's more skylights up here it's a shame the day is so overcast because can't really get a feel for how it's going to feel hey yeah oh yeah it also feels really dark at the moment because half of our windows are closed and so it feels a bit dungeony. So we're missing all of our windows, guys. Where's the light? We do have a skylight. This is our master, and this is our skylight up above the shower, which will be really nice. Just let in some light. And then this here is all one big window, which will let in lots of natural, beautiful light. So I am home from work, and it's time to cook dinner. I'm going to cook. This Miley Spoon recipe that I have, smoky vegetable bake with rice, beans, and vegan cheese. This looks really yummy. Um, so I thought while I'm cooking dinner, I'm gonna answer some of the, the most common questions that I get asked about Miley Spoon, because it might clear up any questions or things you were wondering yourselves. The first question, is there a lot of waste? I would say I have less wastage using Miley Spoon than I do when I shop from the supermarket. So a lot of things in supermarkets come in packaging regardless. Um, so unless you're like shopping at the farmer's markets for everything, but then I even find if I do that midway through the week, all my produce is not that great anyway. And you can't get everything from the farmer's markets. It's just not possible. So in terms of wastage, I think I have much less because everything is pre-portioned to exactly what you need. So after I finish cooking, I don't have any leftover ingredients. And I find when I'm just like cooking from the supermarket, I end up just like, I end up having excess like vegetables and just like elements of a recipe, herbs, etc. And I put them back in the fridge and think I'm going to use them for the rest of the week. And then I end up just throwing them out anyway. So I have so much less wastage with this. Like it gives you portioned out servings. Second question, does it feel like, do the recipes feel repetitive um, or get boring? No, honestly, we have been using Miley Spoon since before Bowie was born. So it's been over three years and I do not find it repetitive at all. There is so many options to choose from that it never gets boring. And like, sometimes my favorite recipes come back through. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. And I'm so excited when they come back again because I get to cook them again and it's been like so long since I've had it. So it 100% does not get boring. And I'm not really the kind of person that likes to eat the same meal like over and over and over. So this works out really well for me because I get to eat different things every single week. There's a strong onion. Next question is how does it compare compared to um, like cost wise? How is it? Like is it expensive etc? I think they worked out that it's on average 25% cheaper than buying like for like ingredients from the supermarket. Plus it's all delivered and it's all pre like portioned and worked out so you don't have to like sit there and like work out your shopping list and even if you do it online like you don't have to sit there and add all ingredients online and pick your delivery date and then wait for it etc yeah it's all done for you and it's 25 percent cheaper than the supermarket which is really really good and then of course if you're someone who like you know gets this time of day and if you don't have anything ready to go and you can't be bothered you end up just getting takeaway which is what I can sometimes do when I don't have things. Then you'll also save money because it's so much cheaper than takeaway. And because these things are already like delivered to your door and sitting in your fridge, you find you end up just cooking them anyway because it's sitting in the fridge and you don't want it to go to waste. So we definitely save money 
about not buying as much takeaway. And obviously, if you guys haven't used it before or tried it, you can use my code, which will save you up to $215 off your first seven boxes, plus free delivery on your first. Yeah, if you're like skeptical and you just want to try it, use my code and it's so much cheaper you also save and you might find out that you love it so the next question is are there many options for vegetarian or vegan first we used to order the vegan recipes and now we order the vegan and vegetarian so there's eight things to choose from every single week which is heaps because we get three to four recipes each week depending on what we're doing so we have heaps of options plus if you eat seafood they have prawn and fish dishes um, and if you eat meat they offer a range of different meats as well, and it's all free range. Um, but yeah, specifically if you're vegetarian or vegan, yes, they have options. And they're really, really delicious. Like this one, I've had this one. It's probably been like a year. And it is so yummy. You wait till I finish the recipe. Next question is, um, are the recipes hard to cook? Um, like, I think this person was a, maybe a novice cooker or like, not super confident in the kitchen but no they are not hard i mean alex if i can do it then anyone can do it yeah he's, <laughs> no yeah don't doubt yourself he's getting pretty good i actually feel like he's learning to cook via molly spoon i mean if you put him in the kitchen and said here's some good like what do they call that master chef the like heat test or something here's some ingredients the mystery box if you gave alex a mystery box useless terrible wouldn't know what to do but give him a Marley Spoon recipe card and all the ingredients and he can whip up a delicious dinner. So no, it's not hard and it's also a really nice incentive, like not incentive, but like nice, easy way to get your partner to help out with the cooking because they really like can't go wrong when they've given everything in front of them. Come to think of it, I even feel like me, like I have cookbooks, so like I know what to do in the kitchen. Not like a chef or like a world famous amazing cook, but like, you know, know how to cook. And I feel like I even learned some things from Marley Spoon. Um, even just like some new flavor combinations or ingredients to use. Um, even just the way some of their ideas to like mix things up. I feel like it's good inspiration even. So like, yeah, I feel like I even learned. It's really cool. So the last question is, are the recipes healthy and if you're tracking your macros can you like still use these recipes so they all come with the nutrition information on them it has it here on all the recipes and the recipes are also online so it gives you the energy fat carbs and protein so it gives you all the macronutrients broken down and it gives you it per serving so yeah, if you are needing that kind of information, definitely has it. So I'm gonna serve up dinner. Don't forget guys, if you want to use my code to try out Miley Spoon, I'll put the details on the screen for you, as well as a link in the description box. Um, and you can enjoy delicious and healthy and convenient meals like us. Bowie, smoothie. Can you with the T-Rex? That's her favorite. Uh, my favorite, dad's favorite. Which one's that? Come here, dude. Can we do cheers? Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, bros. Cheers. Cheers. No. <laughs> what happened? to quickly get ready for work. I'm getting my hair done this afternoon. So hair day. Oh my God, these shoes are so creaky, guys. Listen to this. I'm not sure if they're like faulty. It drives me nuts. Anyway, it is, my hair is getting colored today. So it's extremely greasy as well and I'm avoiding washing it. But I need to get ready because we are 
<clears throat> while I'm going to work and then I'm also going to a little um, brunch at Tarte's pre-opening day. They're opening a new Tarte in um, Cromwell and so I want to look pretty. But I can't wash my hair so a bit of a pickle. Um, but I'm going to get ready for the day and probably do a little slick do with my hair. these hairbrushes for doing like a slick pony then you are really missing out hair makeup done sometimes when I do this I'm like it probably would have been easier just to wash my hair um, and I love having my hair shorter but it's such an awkward length to do buns like and because I've got my extensions it just feels really like my ponytail is like short and thick and it's really hard to wrap um, but I'm actually having my extensions out today because I'm going to get new ones soon but I'm gonna see how I feel about having them out for a week or two and assess sort of like what that feels like and if I want to continue that but yeah time to head to work quickly I'm get a couple of hours in <sighs> this week is gonna feel like a bit of a juggle <laughs> for our hygiene stickers for summer swim. It's a drill little job, but thank you done. Can you squeeze a bead onto a regular strap? Like that's a regular flower print. So I'm like, yeah. can we send you a, for, you know, for next winter, could we send you a floral print and can you do something like that? Why don't we see how spring and summer goes yeah. and then just remake existing size and new colorways This is dangerous. Within walking distance from home, there's all of this. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Guys, you've got to come check out Tart's new beach house because yum. Thank you. It looks like fruit. It doesn't look like salmon. Smash or pass? Smash. Are you allowed to drink it or are you supposed to just like... It's insane. Holy sh**. It's fresh. In a beautiful lemon vinaigrette with chives, with a bit of lettuce, celery, um, and chives. It's shopping out. Very tasty. <laughs> Lobster is very fresh. And it's quite rich. Buttery. Buttery. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. It's some life. It's, um, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> That's very good. Yum. So I just finished my color at Zanzi. All of a sudden, I'm losing my voice, which is quite annoying. Anyway, I um, had my color touched up at Zanzi. I see Tani and she does such good colors, um, but we didn't bother styling it or even finishing blow drying it because I'm going in for surgery tomorrow. So it's just pointless for me to have my hair nice because I'm going to be laying in bed for the rest of the week, healing from my wisdom teeth surgery. But we also took out my extensions because I am possibly getting um, some new extensions in a couple of weeks. I'm going to get the keratin bonds in my hair so I can't stop touching my head because obviously it feels very weird without extensions in also because my hair is so short I feel like I don't really need them as much as I felt like I needed them when my hair was long like my hair I have very fine hair 
and I got extensions not for length I got them for volume because when my hair was long it felt really thin and I absolutely loved them but I'm going to be trying keratin bonds and I think I'm going to go like half the volume that I had so like a real small amount just to add a little layer of volume I initially set out for this vlog to be like a like full how I balance it all video but uh, while filming this I'm like I don't really know if I am balancing it all like am I balancing it all I don't know like just be real with you all for a sec have a little car chat while I've got a spare five minutes but I honestly feel like at the moment I am not balancing it all even though online or to other people they feel like I am and you know like I get some of you message me like oh my god how do you do it all blah 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 um you're amazing and I'm like oh my god maybe you think I do but like I am struggling to balance it all at the moment like I think I'm kind of at like my capacity probably over capacity if I'm honest this year has been like full on and I feel like I'm at that point oh my god there's like an ant in my car I feel like I'm at that point where I'm like oh my god pressure cooker something's going to boil over right now I have obviously two young kids at home we are building our dream home running the wholesome store all my social media collaborations even just like maintaining a presence online and like even just like getting you know going online and sharing my life every day like I feel like I struggle and there's like days I go without posting and like or like a week I go without posting a post or like days without putting stories up just because I'm like genuinely sometimes feel like I'm struggling to keep up with it all and then coupled with that as you can tell by my voice and like my nasally voice I've just been riddled with non-stop mild sicknesses but just like non-stop sicknesses at the moment I'm like am I am I balancing it all you know even like workout working out fitness like there's weeks where I feel like I've got it together and I'm able to achieve like two or three workouts in the week and then I'm like yes I'm killing it but then there's other weeks where I don't even get to work out once because it's just go 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 and or I'm sick or and I feel like the only way I maintain eating well is because of Molly Spoon providing me with healthy home cooked dinners the like theme for this video was balancing it all but in true honesty I want to be honest and say I don't think I am balancing it all anyway tomorrow is surgery day getting my last two wisdom teeth out and I think I might continue this vlog for the next two days and share that with you I'm actually super fortunate and I'm kind of excited because I am having my wisdom teeth out and then I'm going to stay with Haley for two nights maybe three nights see how I'm feeling and low-key it's gonna be a bit of a holiday for me I'm like I'm kind of excited it's gonna be a little a little mum vacation because I'll get full night's rest and I'll be able to just like bulk watch TV shows and movies for a couple of days. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You become a mom and you're like, oh my God, yes, let's book this surgery in so I can chill for the week. I'll bring you guys along for the next couple of days because that'll be like a true like balancing it all, including healing from surgery. <laughs> uh, look at Super Dad. Super dad who's gonna have two kids for three days. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, she's licking. She's just loving on me. What's doing? What's to do? Nin? What's to do, Ninin? Should I show everyone the cake you made? Yeah. Who? On the camera. Should I film it for you? Yeah. Get a cake out. I'll just go film the fridge. Why? Or do you want to get it out? Yeah. Okay, how about you bring it out to show me? The drama. Okay, talk us through the cake you made, Bowie. I make it with sprinkles on it. Yeah, and? And it got my favourite colour on it. What are your favourite colour? Orange and yellow. They're your favourite? Hey. Don't lick it. <laughs> so, I'm about to start fasting until my surgery. I have this vegan cake. Oh my god, my voice is getting worse. I have this vegan cake from Tarte to try. She wanted me to taste test it and let her know. 
Mm. I got an apple, apple sponge cake. It's so, I, you wouldn't think it's vegan because it, not the vegan cakes aren't good, but it's really fluffy and moist and almost like caramelly. Delicious. And I'm also hydrating because when I'm in the morning, I have a, like a little bit of water, but the hardest thing is going to be fasting on coffee. It's first thing in the morning. All right. Good night. Delivery is here of big shakes and salsa. It has to be the shortest Uber water in history, I reckon. McDonald's is 50 meters <laughs> in that direction. Okay, I'd say 100. And her old mate had a stop on the way. Can you believe it? It's a lot of tired the chippies too. Or oh, you can't have them. Oh no. <laughs> I think you're just like putting it in my mouth and then taking it out. Just got sucking. <laughs> anyway, the movie just got very spicy, guys. Very, very spicy. Did not the... see that coming on this very predictable movie series. <laughs> Seriously. I've got Sprite. Yummy. When you're sick. That's what I like. And a um, chalky thick shake. Right, like the spicy Let's movie. Go. Day two. I mean, they just put ice on it, so it didn't have any overnight. Actually, slept really good. Some pain meds and slept until 7:30. Just like such a treat. <laughs> I would not have been doing that if I was at home. And I'm having my first meal of the day. But I've been laying in bed till 9:30 actually. Having a coconut yogurt with passion fruit. Alex is gonna bring coffee around with the kids soon. Should be nice to see them. Definitely feeling sore today. The numbing's wearing off, but I'm trying to rest as much as possible because. When I had another wisdom tooth out, I got dry socket, and I think it's because I just was doing too much too soon, drinking from straws, and just not like resting. So, and I also got locked jaw, if you don't want to get that again. Mm. So, yeah, rest is key. I was worried to do the happy house, and I put yeah. a pillow in there, and I prayed. You're just like down there. Yeah. <laughs> Who's sleeping with you? Oh, um, no one. I've been by myself. You're not going to be scared? Nah. Wow. <laughs> Where's Bowie? Where's Bowie? <laughs> oh my gosh! Is he hiding? Yeah. <laughs> See? Hello. <laughs> Are you in your cubby house? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it in there? I want to stay there. You want to stay? You want me to close it up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's on the menu for my morning tea. Extremely appetizing selection here. And I've got to let it cool to room temperature. It's going to be sensational. What to have though? These all have chunks in them, so maybe I'm better off going this. Tomato it is. Yummy. It's actually, I'm actually excited for something savory. So I think Alex's mum is making me soup, which is really sweet because I did not have time to prep anything for myself. Hence why I'm eating packet soups. Um, and I didn't want to ask that of Alex because he's got a bit on his hands. Do you want me to get you anything? Um, uh, no. I don't think there's anything for me. <laughs> okay, I am drinking some, um, Lukewarm soup. It's actually really nice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Don't mind a little packet soup every now and then. And I'm actually filling up for some work, so I'm at my computer going over some work stuff. It's pretty good because I'm like I'm here and so I don't have the distraction of the kids. And I'm not at work, so I don't have everyone asking me questions and things. So I feel like I can actually really concentrate on getting some like of my stuff done some admin for the house build and some of my like collab admin it's just tricky because i can't like do a lot of re-edits on any of my like collaborations because i can't do voiceovers at the moment but my voice is getting better which is really good probably the worst felt yet hmm? hello ellie's youtube plans <laughs> welcome to my house <laughs> Welcome to my working, office for the week. <laughs> working and watching the OC. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Hello, baby. What do you want to go to? Hello. Uh, 
Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you were glowing <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> you were glowing, my girl. We're on Zimmy daycare for the next couple of hours. Dad can go golfing. <sighs> Priorities. I don't have to. You don't have to. Like, try to make me feel bad. I don't have to do it. I'm just stating facts, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Just came home to a hookup delivery from Zambazon. Look at these. These things are actually so good. Little ready made acai bowls. Look how many we have. Oh. <laughs> Bowie loves these. Alright, it is Friday night. Hayley and I have been waiting a whole week for our new episode. Oh, summer I turned pretty and I've got my ice cream, which I am going to slither down my extremely swollen face and enjoy. Look at his face. Oh, oh who looks at He's such a good actor. Loved you. Oh. And I know you loved me too. Oh, no, look at his face. Oh. I love him so much. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's different now. No, it's not. Oh. Do you know what it is? Because he's so paying her attention cool. and Conrad isn't. But we grew up. She's not over him. Billy, be real girl. <gasps> oh! Oh! No, it's weird. I can't watch. <gasps> no. Oh. All right, day four. This is my last day of my holiday, guys. <laughs> and then you're out. And then I'm back home. Back on the streets. Back in the dog box. <laughs> no. <laughs> dog, the dog house or dog box? Get up and go, girl, is what my followers tell me. <laughs> I'm going to take this one follower's advice, guys. She is very full of wisdom. <laughs> it was just a wisdom tooth. <laughs> Two, actually. <laughs> Get up and go, girl. People have lost a lot worse. That is like, that's a bit of Kim K essence right there. <laughs> Get up and work, girl. No, I think it's a little no, <laughs> no, it's been nice having a little time to rest. And hanging with my bestie and watch the summer I turn pretty a thousand times. A thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the up, guys. You look better than you yesterday morning. Yeah, yesterday I looked like. Hell. <laughs> Hallie, what are you doing? My background. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alex's live reaction to my <coughs> little paper. Hey. <laughs> that blue one, one? Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this big one. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, you see the camera? <laughs> <laughs> so it is a week past my wisdom surgery, so I've been back at home and just started getting back into work for the last two days. But I'm going to wrap up this weekly vlog here, slash my <laughs> balancing it all video. And yeah, comment below some ideas for some upcoming videos, if there's anything like any particular kind of content you really like seeing. I haven't done any eat what I eat in a day videos for quite a while. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.